Hey everybody, this is Russ from Team Callahan again, coming at you with our third installment of our Let's Buy a House trilogy. On the previous two weeks, we've talked about getting your financial strategy in place. We've talked about hiring your realtor, going out and searching for, for a home, writing a killer offer, and ultimately landing under contract. Really, you are not done yet because there are a few more things that have to happen before you get the keys to your house. First and foremost, right after you go under contract, you're going to be bombarded with a bunch of emails and deadlines. You're gonna need to deliver what's called earnest money, that's your deposit. You're gonna have your inspections, right? This, this period, this first week or so is called the due diligence period where you're gonna do your inspections, you're gonna get your insurance quote, you're gonna you know, find out what the neighborhood's like and the traffic and all this other stuff. Anything and everything you're gonna wanna discover about the house that's gonna give you either good vibes and thumbs up about proceeding or bad vibes, thumbs down. Also during this time, uh, most buyers and sellers use this as an opportunity to renegotiate some of the terms. Maybe there's a repair that needs to get done or a credit that needs to be given or, or something like that. Uh, but once this due diligence period is over and everyone's happy with the way this is going, we move on to the next step. And the next step pretty much has to do with your lender. It's gonna be about the appraisal, it's gonna be about the financing, the appraisal specifically, that's where an independent third party, an appraisal, appraiser hired by the lender is going to go out and justify the sale price. So let's say you're under contract for a home that's $300,000. This appraiser is going to canvas the neighborhood, jot down most recent sales that are similar to the house that you've purchased. These are called comps. And they're going to make their best attempt to say that $300,000 is an appropriate price. If their appraisal comes in over 300, well, great, you, you lucked out. If the appraisal comes in below, then you as a buyer have a chance to renegotiate the sale price. It doesn't always work, but you can. And then the last thing is getting your final loan approval from your lender. Obviously you're gonna be firing tax documents, bank statements and verifications of employment, all that paperwork and stuff between you and the lender so that they can get your uh, loan officially underwritten and funded. Once all that is done, you will uh, ultimately end up at a closing table and you will get the keys to your new house. And there'll be uh, champagne and chocolates and presents and moving trucks and lots of sweat and assembling furniture. So that's it. Uh, congratulations, you've bought a house. To learn a little bit more about what to do after you've bought your home to uh, protect that investment, please uh, come to our home buyer workshop. It's August 10th, it's Thursday. We hope to see you there. Bye.